Hello. Welcome to uh, Cooking with Matt James Photography. Uh, one of the reasons I'm doing these videos is because what I do for a living, where I earn my money, is uh, shooting and videoing weddings and things like that, and events and corporate things. And at the moment, it's all off for obvious reasons. Uh, the band, I'm in a band, I'm a guitarist. That's obviously off at the minute. Uh, my wife and I, we like to go out and look at a few places and go for walks. That's off. Family, grandchildren, that's off. So I'm doing this to carry on, keep my hand in working with my video cameras and doing a bit of editing and stuff like that. And, uh, and also to cook some nice food for my wife when she comes home from work because she's still working at the moment. Essential worker. Um, so that's what's happening. Uh, last time, I did a uh, vegetable curry, if you remember. Um, we ate it, it was delicious. That's what's left over. It would fill up someone or two people. Um, the rest of it's all frozen now, so have a meal another day. No waste or anything. Today I'm going to do bread. I've never done bread before. I just want to smell the smell of cooking bread in the kitchen, I think. And then cut through a white loaf and put butter on it. It'd be something nice. Yeah. Uh, and I've had a look on the internet and I've come up, I've found a simple recipe which uh, involves just flour. I've got, uh, there wasn't much on the shelf, so I've got what I could. It's this plain white flour, um, organic, whatever that means. Um, salt, well, I've got reduced sodium salt because better for that. Thanks to Lorraine uh, for the yeast, which I couldn't get. Advert. I'm not interested in adverts, go away. We want no zictus back on. So, yeast I've got, uh, and water, and I've got a nice bowl here. Lucky enough to have this, I think it was Donna's mum's. Not sure, but I think it was. So, according to the recipe, three cups of flour. I don't know how big a cup is. Uh, so I'm just gonna say, uh, that looks like a cup. That looks like a cup to me. So three cups of flour is going to go into this big bowl. I'm going to open this carefully so I can fill it up. And we've got Noden Tictus, not dancing music. It's lovely. I'd call cool that one cup, wouldn't you? Let's say that's a cup. One cup. Apparently it's a do a loaf. So I might do a couple of these. Two cups. Break it up a little bit in there. Beautiful track. Three cups. That looks about right actually. Three cups. Um, a teaspoon of yeast. That's what I call a teaspoon. It's brand new yeast. Teaspoon, yeast, teaspoon of yeast, in it goes, put the lid back on, there and there. Uh, a teaspoon of salt, I'm sure that this will work just the same as normal salt, no sodium, teaspoon of salt, there it goes. One and a half cups of very hot water, but as far as I'm aware, it's not supposed to be boiling. So I'm going to say one, 
This is not boiling, but it is hot. Oh, I've got a message on my phone. I'm playing the uh, one and a half cups. I'm going to put the kettle back on again. It's quite hot, actually. I may well have another cup of tea. I think you're supposed to be able to put your finger in it or something. And if you couldn't give that to a baby, it's too hot and you couldn't give that to a baby. So this shows about 350 mil. So I'm going to tip a bit out and put a bit of cold in. Bring it back up to 350 mil. Right, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do quickly first is give this a mix up before I put the water in. You can see that. Let's mix everything in and put the water in. To Noden Sictus. Lovely. Or oh, it's going sticky. Which is apparently what you want. So I'm going to use this spoon to mix this up. Make sure it's nicely mixed. Then dry bits left. This looks very similar to what I saw on the interweb. for three hours. left over from the other night. Mashed potato. A mashed potato. Anyway, a mash left over from the other night. Got a little bit of cheese that's left there. A little bit of grated cheese. A little bowl. And a bit of cool beef, actually. I'm just going to do this. Um, and I'm going to put the corned beef in there. It's quite hard where it's been in the fridge. My hands are really, really beyond clean. I would have preferred a little tiny bowl. But this is all I've got. I haven't got anything else. But this will be alright. Thin layer of salty corned beef. Do, do, do. It's just I had a sandwich the other day, corned beef sandwich. And this bit was left over, so I put it in the in that little pot there. 
There it is, that pot. Whoops, it's back in the fridge. A tiny thin bit of uh, corned beef there. That's got this nice bar bowl full of leftover mash. Not a lot there, but it's enough to do something with. And too much to chuck away. It's like a bigger bowl, so I can mix it up a bit. Chuck it in there. That'll break it up a little bit because this has been in the fridge as well. There you can see it's all pretty cold. I'll do it over here. Let's move that. Just mash it up. Mash it up. Lovely. Now I've got a like chill out mix on. Because now it sounds much more like um, one of these cooking videos, you know. Oh yeah. Show me Oliver. What we're trying to do, you see, save you money. Oh they are getting bigger already. So I'm gonna grate a bit of cheese into it. And I've got some grated cheese left there, but really I wanna save that. Reading the cheese. Reading the cheese. Into the mash. Not loads, but enough. Reading the cheese. Into the mash. Mix it in a little bit. So it's in with the mash. Don't want loads. And then what I'm going to do, so easy, I'm going to pour that, can you see that, into here. This is my dinner today, I'm going to have this. Or I might save a bit when Donna comes home. Over mash, half a tin of corned beef. Could be just the mash, a few vegetarian, just mash, vegetarian cheese or whatever. Good net tomato. I'm going to put a tomato on it. Lovely. Right. Then I will use a bit of this just to be lazy. Plus, I want to keep that for a sandwich. I'm going to sprinkle it on the top. Do, do, do. My thinking is that whilst we've got to wait for three hours for that bread mix to rise, I can show you what this looks like afterwards. It might be my lunchtime. Bit of tomato. <laughs> Old tomatoes here. Starting to go home a bit. bit soft. I'm going to use this knife I've got somewhere. Where are you? There it is. This is a cheese knife. And my sister Fran bought me years ago. Now this tomato is gone home. In other words, it's very soft over there. Well, that bit's all right. I like using a cheese knife because it doesn't squash anything. It cuts through nice. Tomato on there, tomato on there, tomato on there. Lovely, that's gone. Do. I've got somewhere oh, I'll just use a bit of this. I'll just use a bit of normal oil. Normal oil. Over the top. 
and a little bit of black pepper. That's it, that's it. Don't need to do anything else. It took seconds. You don't have to buy processed food all the time. It took seconds. I know it's a bit of leftover. Watch that one as well. Just need to uh, make sure I'm clean. It's going to be washed up. I'm going to put this in the oven right away. Um, and I'm going to put it on gas mark six. You have to hold this for a little while, or don't stay on. three hours because that's when I know I can carry on doing my bread. I'm going to check it in like half an hour or whatever and see what that's like. I'll see you when that's done. So it's not been three hours it's been about 40 minutes or something like that since I put that cheesy potato pie in the oven and uh, I thought I'd just show you it coming out. So this was made with um, some leftover mashed potato, oops, some leftover um, corned beef. You don't have to put corned beef into it, you could put whatever you want really. Um, bit of cheese and some tomato, bit of pepper, oh god, bit of pepper, <laughs> there you go, there you go, look at that, just like, and some beans or something with it, oh, I like beans, Donald would be like, I'll have that but with veg please, look at it, that is gorgeous. That's probably my lunch. We've still got uh, two hours for this to carry on rising. It's all now getting a bit bubbly. I don't know if you can see there. There's a bit of condensation on the top. Yeah, it's definitely got bigger and it looks like it's getting that nice wibbly consistency that it's supposed to have according to the YouTube videos that I've watched uh, which is where I got the recipe from because I've never done bread so this is quite exciting I'm looking forward to the smell of it and I'm looking forward to giving some to Donna when she comes in from work and here you are darling it's some nice bread with what we're having tonight which is um, some leftovers from last night. So yesterday I did a pasta bake, I'll show you. I'll go over to this other camera. Won't touch that. So this was my pasta bake yesterday. There you go, look at that. That's got tomatoes and peppers and um, One of these, chorizo ring with paprika, quite nice. So to liven that up tonight, because obviously it's like, you know, leftovers from last night. I'm going to put a tin of tomatoes in there and do it with meatballs. If you're vegetarian, use the vegetarian equivalent. If you're vegan or whatever, then 
a mushroom or something in there. Anyway, I'm only joking. Lakers. Hey, we're back. Hello. Anyway, we're back. Um, and this time we've got a bit of funk on in the background. Alex Cortez, which is very nice. Bit of groove going. Uh, this camera's going to hear it a lot more. Um, looking at the oven. That says 21 minutes left. 21 minutes. So it's been two and a half hours just over. I'm just going to have a quick look. I don't know why I'm putting that on because it's not really hot. But looking at it, it looks like it's doing all the right things. It's gone bubbly. Just gonna see if uh, this camera can see. Let's move my kettle. A quick look. Look at that. Gone bubbly, and it looks like the consistency of frog spawn. Mmm. Which is what it's supposed to look like, apparently. So, what I've done is I've put. Um, my dish that I'm going to cook it in uh, in the oven already on gas bar 8, which is 450 degrees, to get this. It's one of those um, metal cast pots you know I've only just bought it and I literally got it in uh, the mad buying session in viral Sainsbury's um, just to do some bread and that's when I got everything but no um, yeast which someone donated Lorraine thank you very much Lorraine appreciate that so I'm gonna have to turn off again now because we need to give that its full three hours to rise and bubble. I've eaten that uh, mashed potato and you know, corned beef hash thing. It's very nice. I'm gonna make a cup of Yorkshire tea and enjoy that whilst I'm waiting for 20 minutes to pass. Um, and then I'm gonna get it out and make a mess, really. It will be messy because it's it is like frog ball. It's very sticky dough, this apparently. So you bread the surface. I've cleaned this. I've actually bleached it um, and washed it with soap and water as well. So obviously it's not in a taste of bleach or anything. Uh, so it's very clean. There should be no bacteria on there, apart from what I've just put on with my hands, which have been washed 59 times today. So see you in a minute. Yorkshire tea. Right, it's been three hours. It's been three hours. I need that music up a little bit louder. Come, where's that base? That's what we need. I did two batches of this. It definitely looks like frog spawn. I'll show you what I mean by that. Can you see all those bubbles? It's ready to go. So what I've got to do is flour the side. I've got my little instructions here. Flour the surface. There's flour. It is clean. Very clean. It's not good for someone who's got OCD. I'm chucking the bits of flour on here. So here we are. Um, I bought this thing as well. It's even got a measuring thing on it. There we are, look. It's doing scraping things. Um, and then what I'm going to do, um, make sure I've got some of that on my hands because it's going to be very sticky. I'm gonna get it out of here. Oh, God. Look at that. 
it really is sort of like rrrp, little burp. Whoa. And put a bit of flour on top of it. Uh, if this works, it'd be amazing. It will. I'm just gonna use this thing that I've got. Just to roll it in, apparently. Dude, it's left-handed, notice. I may put a bit more flour in there as well. I'm gonna stop my OCD about this. <laughs> this is so sloppy. Unbelievable. Flour, I think. Jesus. <laughs> like some sort of weird alien. It is like frog spawn. Look! Oh. That's all I'm going to do is fold it into itself like that, apparently. Get some sort of shape and nearly swarm. Unbelievable. It doesn't need kneading, it just needs folding over like this. If this turns into bread, I shall be amazed. I really will, because at the minute, it's just some sort of disgusting mess. So, I'm gonna wash my hands. I can't touch anything. Ooh, it's vile. And for 20 minutes, I've had um, all oh, right. Okay, so I've got to get a bowl, put that inside the bowl. I'll use this bowl, so I'm going to wash this up, get rid of all this gunk out of here. I've got some greaseproof paper. Uh, it's an American video, so it says parchment. Unless they mean sort of bits of. I won't say that. Um, that's what we'll do. So, what we've got to do as well is um, put some greaseproof paper or whatever it is in there, parchment. Parchment. And then put this into the parchment, cover it up, and let it rest again for half an hour I'm already heating up the oven parchment baking parchment I bet there's nothing here oh no I've got the other well I'm not going over the road there we are baking paper non-stick baking paper is there anything in there looks like there is no, that's the end of that one as well. Greaseproof paper, is that the same thing? Oh, I'm guessing. Don't know how long this has been in the drawer. It's a new one. I don't know if this is what I need. 
This is for presenting your food, so that's no good. Good God, y'all. What are you gonna do? Strong foil. Right, so there's a little tip cut. This, this might be some sort of greaseproof paper though, actually, looking at it. It's going to be now anyway. I want to cook in it. This is part of the baking paper. This looks pretty much the same sort of stuff but a different colour. The still the same? Yeah, it feels the same. Hopefully that'll be all the same. And I'll pull this somehow into there. It isn't a, <laughs> it's not a loaf. It's just a, a gloop mess. How am I supposed to get this in there? I have no idea. Like that, I suppose. Look at it. Blah. I'll wash my hands off again because I can't touch anything. That's not so bad, actually. I'm sure I've missed something. Anyway, this is going to be a laugh because um, <laughs> it is wrong. Oh dear. You're going to see it. But at the minute, this doesn't exactly look like a loaf. It's a rustic looking loaf, that one. Oh, I've got clean tea towels here. That uh, literally I've just washed, or that it has been just washed. Oh dear, it's not going to be out. It's not going to be out. Oh, there's another roller kitchen in the corner. There's lemon seeds. All dropped down the back. What's that? How much silly? Now my drawers fall to pieces. What is happening today? Come on. That's it. I'm back off the floor. So I'm going to cover this apparently for, for like half an hour. Again, there's a lot of waiting around with this. I can't believe that's going to work. I can't believe it'll be... If it's bread of any sort, I'll be happy. But it doesn't look like bread. <laughs> it just looks like frog spawn. Or something like that. I'm going to give this a wipe. It's not very exciting to watch this. The fabric is all right, but it's not the best of that. If that turns into bread, I will be amazed. I really will. Nice news. I must change that music because I'm not doing that. That's white. Clean. Go there. Go there. It is very cheap thin paint. I am using a lot better. Clean everything. What is it that I've got an egg in there? The thing is, I'm not done because I made two batches. I made another batch. And what I was hoping to do with this next batch, that one's going to be some sort of loaf. Guess what this one's going to be? I thought I'd try making that into the next one into um, rolls. This will be hilarious. And if this is the wrong sort of paper, it's just going to catch fire in the oven. So uh, that'll be interesting as well. 
They're all wrapped enough, dead. Non stick parchment. I think that's uh, That's the. This is hand job stuff. Use me. For lining cake tins, oven trays, on non stick. Alright. Right, this is the other one. I wonder if this is a, a better version. It looks a bit better actually, less. Um, frog spawny. Uh, what I am going to do is do that. I've got to get my scraper thing that I bought. Especially for it. it wasn't dear. It was like three quid or something. I'm having a tour for the job. I, will, I don't believe that it's going to be a loaf of bread. So. Right, there we go. Let's see what this one looks like. It's not quite so uh, bloopy. Maybe it's a little less water. And really what I want to do is I want this to fold into a few rolls. Get this out. You can see that sort of consistency, it's pretty rank, actually. This one feels a little bit firmer, I put a little less water in this. You can see the bubbles. I'm not going to go mental with it, I'll put a bit of flour over the top, because I can't handle it. Maybe I didn't put enough flour on the top. Uh, I've just thought as well actually, I've got some sesame seeds. Could make some of these into sesame I was going to be ambitious and put some olives in there. And make olive rolls for Donna. Do you know what? Oh hey! This one actually looks a lot better than the other one, doesn't it? That's not looking bad. That's almost a loaf. Look at it. That was a little less water, so what I'm going to do is cut it in half. That's what this thing's for. Enough. I'm going to cut it in half again. I'm going to cut these two halves. So we've got eight rolls. I promise I'll give Lorraine something of what I cooked. <laughs> I don't think she's going to want one. I don't know if I would be uh, gagging for it. Right, let's just um, pick up the edges and turn these into... Should I put a bit of... Yeah, around. It's non-stick. So am I going to, what, fold in the edges like this? Fold in, fold in, fold in, fold in, fold in, pick it up, put it on there, upside down, that way. And then the roll. I'll do the same with this. Fold in. I never change the music. I'm making a parcel and then I'm going to put that parcel upside down on there. That's all right. Push this over. First time ever. Never done this before. Ever. You'd never know, would you? Never know. Same there. How many of them am I doing? Three. 
See? Why can't I have room? Apparently they were spreading out a bit. That's only a little one. That's if you just peckish. <laughs> in that corner. It's like trying to vent for shape. No. <laughs> An adventurous shape, I think, is, is round, quite frankly. I'm not even going to fold over the edges. I like, I like the rusticness of it. Look at that, that's perfect. Oh, and I've got room in the middle for two. These are going to spread out. This is a big one. This is a serious roll for a serious cheese roll or whatever. He's going there. And this one, the final one, oh, that's not bad. This is much better though, this sort of whatever you call it, pastry, is much better than that other batch. I'm going to wash my hands again. And I'm going to put some. Oh no, I'm going to let them rise first. Half an hour they've got out. And then, um, once they've done whatever they're doing there, spreading out and gone into weird shapes, then I'm going to, a couple of, the, the rolls, four of them I think, I'll brush some egg white on. This little tiny egg has come from our chicken. And some sesame seeds which I've got, and then we can have for them with sesame seed buns. I don't know whether to do that with a loaf as well. It's a bit ambitious for the first one, especially when that looks like some form of frog spawn. So I don't know if it's going to work. We'll have to see. So I'll see you in half an hour. So, bit of fun loving criminals going on in the background there. That's a bit wobbly, isn't it? It's done. Um, another cup of tea. Let's see what's happened to these. They've been there for half an hour at least. Thereabouts. Oh, they have got bigger. Hey! Look at that. You see that? I wonder what's happened to the loaf. That's interesting. <laughs> it's going to be an unusual shape loaf, this one. Might have some edges to it. I think it's a bit too wet, that one, actually. But these look all right. So I think what I'm going to do is be really adventurous for my first loaf. This egg is our own. Well, it's not from me, but it's a bit disgusting actually. See that? Separating the... Uh... I don't want to waste that. I can't to eat it. Which I might in a second. I'm going to leave it there. Okay. Brush. Brush. I think possibly well everything else I'll put it in the dishwasher and all the uh, bristles fell out so my hands clean I have to do this with egg yolk brushing it really lightly I don't want to break the top I might as well do them all. If one's knackered, they'll all be knackered. Whoops. See that? I 
just going to tip that out. It's all right, that's all right. Sesame seeds. I'm not going to do the same to the loaf. That, um, that won't be a loaf, I don't reckon. Well, I don't reckon it will. Sesame seeds, garlic, sesame seeds. Here we go. I mean, I think they look quite nice. They're a bit uneven in shape and all that stuff, but they're all right now. So these are gonna go in. I'll put them near the top of the oven for half an hour or so. There is a pot in there that I've been heating up. So it should be really hot now. Because that lump of gooey stuff is going in here. So yeah, let me get this hot, hot, hot pan out. It's really hot. I'm gonna lower this. And I'll lower that even more. Let's put out one. So I'm gonna try and fit them both in. This is really hot. Like outro, outro marks. And all of this just goes in there. Because apparently it's gonna steam it. So I think I wanna cut some of that paper off just in case it's the type of paper that would catch fire. If this turns into bread, I will be amazed. That's all right, that's all right. Don't touch that, boiling. I mean, really hot. This is going in for about half an hour. Oh, sorry, ow, ow, ow. Oh, that's really hot. And these ones, I'm gonna put on the top shelf. I'd rather have them a bit lower, but I can't. No. And I'm gonna set that for... ...20 20 minutes to check the buttons. The rolls. Um, I don't remember how long the other one needs. Uh, half an hour, basically. Um, so half an hour, then you get it out, take the top off, put it back in for 15, with no, 15 to 30 minutes with no lid. We will see, we will see if that turns into bread rolls and a loaf. I think we've got more chance with the bread rolls, to be quite honest with you, because the loaf did honestly look like some form of frog spawn. Got a message. I might eat that. See you in a minute. So, I'll tell you what, actually, this has been a lot harder than doing that curry because um, you don't have to do too much, but it takes hours. However, uh, well, memory card's four on that one. However, Normally I get that one, so I have to show you or you. Rolls. They've, because it's not a very big pan, they've sort of joined into one roll. 
Okay, you know. So that looks quite nice. I think they're done, actually, so I'm going to leave them out. They're, they were cooked a bit quick. Because they were at the top of the oven. I'll move them right back there and let them cool down for a minute. Let's have a look at this uh, pot. Now this pot, I have to take the lid off, put it back in 15, 30 minutes. It's gonna be really hot. I burnt the wooden thing there, get me out. My God, my God, it's risen. It's a bit bread looking. It's going back in. Right now. That's gone back in. I'll do it for 20 minutes. And we'll see. And the rolls I'm gonna let cool down. They're sort of rolls. That's the first go. We'll see. <laughs> I'm not going to be tempted, well I am tempted, just to, um, well at least that's not the sort of paper that catches fire, just sort of break one, it's very hot, off, you may put a bit more, oh this is not non-stick paper, That's because I spilt the egg there, didn't I? That's why. I don't care, I'll eat it. I've eaten paper before now. I can't hold off. I want to try this one. With some butter. Like proper butter. Like bad for my heart. Spreadable butter. <laughs> it's cream crunchy. That's not bad inside. The steam. This is a little tiny one. Hours and hours and hours of work to make this. Oh, it smells nice as that uh, butter is going on there. No, I know it's a lot of butter. Enhanced base. Mm. Mm. Actually, that's really good. Oh. I don't think I'll decide the egg came off. That's lovely. Mm. I've got to say, that tastes really nice. Not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. But I know everything was in it, including that bit of paper.
and bread is just so I think it's 20 past three now. So it's been all day, this, doing this. All day. I'll put it back in. Let's get that glove. This is it. This is the finale. Ah, of the bread making thing. Ouch. I'll put that on there. Oh, uh, let's have a look what it looks like. Whoa, look. It's even wrapped up. It looks lovely. <laughs> if I'm honest, what happened <laughs> is that that paper that I had was not greaseproof paper. It was paper. Like everything sticks to me, paper. So I took the bread out and it left the base there. Pretty much done the same with the rolls, but you know, you can live with that because you can just eat a little bit. But altogether, that is still a loaf that's, see if you can hear a little, it's crusty. It's got a crust. I'll be able to butter it. We'll be able to eat it. It's still a loaf in there. This one was a particularly wet mix. So it's probably, um, would have risen better if, uh, if it weren't so wet. But this is my first ever go. So I'm not gonna moan and beat myself up about it. See if I can get it out of here. Oh yeah, I can. God, that's hot. Come on. Oh, the bottom's all right, it's got a nice crust. That's okay. That's okay. Considering, you know, I started that this morning. <laughs> it's got a nice crust. You can see where the bottom's, oh, it's hot. It's a loaf of bread. That's not a loaf of bread. So anyway, I promised Donna that when she came home, there'd be some bread and there would be some buns, some rolls. And I've got some nice seeded rolls there with sesame seeds and a nice loaf of bread that's all lovely and crusty. You can hear it cracking. Made and baked on the same day, which we can have with a nice bit of butter. For my first ever go, considering I didn't have any of the right paper, that wasn't bad. Thanks very much and join me next time on uh, Cooking with Matt James Photography. Bye.